Hey my nerds, welcome back. A couple of weeks ago, we covered how to come up with a unique idea for your story. This week, we're chatting about how to quickly ground your readers in that idea. This is one I've seen done well a thousand times, but I'm still working on mastering in my own craft. So definitely do what I say and not what I've done where this one is concerned. It's a hard one, all right. So why is it important to ground your readers instantly in your cool idea? You could leave it a few scenes, but it's getting harder and harder to hook and keep your reader's attention. So keeping your A-game hidden away isn't a smart thing to do these days. Ideally, you want to be grounding your readers in the story and you want to do it quickly. Do it well, do it fast and get on with the plot. But how do you do it? Easy, sort of. The trick is to set your first scene in a way that explains the big change that you've made to your reader. But without all the exposition dumps that will just bore them and send them off to pick someone else's book up. What you come up with will obviously depend on what your idea is, but the how is normally the same for each. So this trick works irrespective of what your idea is. What you need to do is come up with a list of interesting implications for your world that arise because of your unique idea. Implications that when a reader sees them, they go, Ooh, interesting. You then have to pick one of these implications as the backdrop to your opening scene. I'll use the opening from Children of Men to demonstrate this. In the film, no children have been born for about 18 years, but there is no exposition explaining this in the film because there's no need. Why? Because instead, in the opening scene, the main character is watching a news report stating that the youngest person in the world, this 18 year old dude, has died. From that snippet alone, the viewer is instantly grounded. Honestly, if you can pull this trick off, it's your best way of avoiding first chapter info dumps. I love it so much. So get thinking about the implications for your world. There will likely be loads and you only need one for your first scene. So pick whichever one will ground your reader with the most ease and fits best with the plot and save the rest for other points in the story. Those implications are what will help your story stick in your reader's mind. All right. That's your lot for this week. Bye, my nerds. See you next time.